What is going on guys, and uh, I don't know if y'all saw my ice chest video, but if you haven't, you go ahead and click right uh, there at that little, uh, that little icon. And uh, well, this is my uh, other project that I want to do. This is just a portable speaker box, but it's in an ammo box, so I mean, it's really a lot cooler. Mm, there's speakers on both sides. Um, I know I've scratched this up pretty good. It's been like this there since I was a little kid. Um, but one thing that really aggravates me is this thing so what it was is it was a package deal it was a four channel poly amp came comes with this which is the gain knob and it comes with this well that is what <laughs> and for 20 bucks i can get a black one but i mean i'm about to paint it uh this color anyway so that's what the color should be like whenever um i get done with it as you see already got scratches on it like right there and right here well you can't get rid of this but that's going to be there no matter what, but I got little, if you can see that, little scratches along here, right, just little imperfections, no, that don't, I think it's worse on this side, yeah, that's mainly just from building it, because I'm planning on painting it anyway, so I don't really care about that, but, uh, yeah, so I guess I'll show you on the side right here, I have four switches, this one turns the amp on on the inside, this one right here also turns the voltage meter on, so right now I got 12.8, um, this one turns the Bluetooth on. There might be a little pop, so I'm, I'm not going to turn that one on. Actually, I'll turn it off. Turn it on. That. Um, the, the only thing I noticed about hooking up Bluetooth like directly to an amp is you get this little noise. It's not really doing it. Um, and then this switch right here is the phone charger. I see the blue light is off. Hit the switch. Now that blue light is on. And uh, this one, the top one is... Here, here's that noise. It does, it makes a little noise, I don't know why, so there's a little pop. Um, top one is 1 amp, the bottom one is 2.1 amps. Well, it looks like that got scratched off a little bit. Oh well. <laughs> but, uh, and then also got a cigarette lighter right here. And this is actually how I charge it. I have a trickle charger, and I have a male uh, cigarette lighter. Oh, I can't see what I'm doing. I have a male cigarette lighter that plugs into here, goes to the trickle charger, charger and it charges this battery. Let's take a look on the inside. Um, before you say anything, this is just to show y'all what it's going to look like. I know I have tape right here. That's because I ran out of little sticky stuff. I might either just super glue it or something, but it will look a lot cleaner than just this tape. But I've been using this tape for about a month and now it's worked. So what I got here is the aux cord. Um, that's another thing. The Bluetooth, which is, uh, it's tucked away in there. Um, uh you ain't gonna be able to see that so the bluetooth is uh for some reason whenever i'm using the bluetooth it's not loud as it is when i'm using the aux cord so i figured i just bring the aux cord with me so whenever i want it to be really loud i have the aux cord um so i guess we'll start from here um we have the phone charger and then we have the voltage meter all that is ran to these two switches and there's a fuse right here that for both of those just just in case i guess and then this fuse is directly to the uh, the cigarette lighter for whenever I am charging it, just in case something goes wrong, or if I'm using something and something goes wrong. And uh, this switch right here, it, I didn't want it on the outside because it's kind of pointless. It's it's a switch that I will hardly ever use. But if I'm at the beach, I just want these two speakers playing and have these turned off. I just stick my finger in here and click it like that. But I like to leave it on. Um, I'm sure you've already noticed this, but. This right here is cardboard with duct tape around it to uh, make it more durable, I guess you could say. But this keeps the battery from going left and right, wobbling between the speakers. This uh, battery is Velcroed on the bottom and on the side, so it's kind of like shoved in there in the corner, and it ain't going anywhere. I could do this all day with it, and it's not going anywhere. Um, <laughs> um, it's, <laughs> it's pretty jammed in here from this point. I don't know what I could put right here. I could put something there. I just haven't thought of anything yet. Maybe a bigger battery, but this thing already weighs 20 pounds. It's pretty heavy, but I mean, I play football, so that's not too much of a problem. Um, so the Bluetooth is tucked away underneath here with these RCA cables. One thing I will say about these RCA, RCs on this amp, it's not channel one, channel two, channel three, channel four. It's input one and input two, basically, but even if you just uh, plug in an, uh, an aux cord to just two of these, even though it says like channel 
we know this one says channel one and channel two it's going to play on all four channels um so it's not one channel just one speaker it's all of them for some reason so i could probably just plug up the left side and it still work on all speakers for some reason um but hey that's fine with me that made it easier i didn't all i had to do was connect the aux cord to one side and the bluetooth to one side and uh it works fine so i guess i can show you a little bit of my cable management if y'all can even see that um but it's tucked away underneath the speakers running along coming up through here and same thing on this side like any power cord like any positive wire which is the green comes underneath the battery because of this little indention right here the wires go along underneath there underneath the battery on this side they come up the yellow is uh the positive for all the switches and that is hot glued because my genius self on this side um i had the wrong bit <laughs> and you see the holes a little bit bigger so i hot glued it and then this side i have the right bit so it looks a lot cleaner um these two are the screws holding the amp in place right there we just put two self-tapping screws and then we just cut them off and then whenever you shut it oops, we get it. whenever you shut it you don't see it so it's fine and the reason why i put the switches right here instead of over here um or even on top of the lid for that matter is that over here i didn't want someone bumping in them and hitting them and well you're probably thinking the same thing on this side but what I thought was that if something hits it, it would hit this before it hits the switch because the switch doesn't come out as far as this thing does. Um, and the reason why I didn't put it right here is because my phone, I have a rock form case with a magnet on it. So I just set my phone right here and it doesn't move. And if I had switches right there, I could not put uh, my phone right there. And maybe I could line them up right here, but I didn't want to do that because as you saw, I had stuff on the I have stuff on the back side of it like the cables and stuff. So I guess enough talking. I guess I'll go ahead and give you a little bit of a demo with the Bluetooth, and then I'll show you the difference with the aux cord. Watch out! Oh watch out! Oh watch out! Yeah! I smash out! I smash out! I smash out! Yeah! I'm spending! I'm spending! I'm my fucking pay. So here's that noise I'm talking about with that Bluetooth. I don't know if you can hear it. Um, but for some reason, after a while, it, it will just go away. Just, like, for no reason. And then it goes away. It does this. You can barely hear it, and then it stops. So, maybe, maybe it's the Bluetooth thing that I bought. I bought the, like, the $40 one, maybe. No, it's $35 one. And, um, I guess I should have got a, a little bit more expensive one with better reviews. And maybe that's why it's not as loud when I'm on Bluetooth. So let me go ahead and show you um, a little demo real quick. Um, so yeah, as you saw, there is definitely a difference between the Bluetooth and the aux cord. The aux cord has a lot more bass, it's a lot louder, and it's just better overall. And, uh, well, that, that is uh, my ammo box project. Like I said, I just gotta paint it. And then once I paint it, the color that I showed you, um, this should blend in a little bit better. And, uh, yeah, I can't wait until I do that. Anyways, guys, I hope you like this. I hope this, uh, was interesting to y'all. And, uh, I hope it gave y'all some ideas. Anyways, I'll catch y'all in the next video.